Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad. Listen, today's Friday. I love Fridays. I don't know why I love Fridays. You know, no, you know, because hear me. Whatever you've been busy doing the whole week, Friday begins the weekend. And it's not just a time to say, oh, I'm tired, I want to relax. It's a time to assess yourself. It's a time to reevaluate what you've done that week. It's a time to ask, did I grow in the things of God this week? What is the thing that God said to me this week that I didn't do? Or what's the result of the things that I did? See, it's a time to ask yourself all those questions. And that will help you grow. Praise God. Now, remember also, this, this weekend is, is special. You know why? Because tomorrow, Saturday, by 5 p.m., we are meeting at the Zoo's Paradise Hotel, Mabushi area in, in, in Abuja, just beside Sechako. You can't miss it. Praise God. It's going to be a glorious time. We're having the program sound the alarm. Now, this program is going to be every month, but we are beginning this month. We are beginning tomorrow. Praise God. It is a special meeting. I don't want you to miss for anything. You, you, you are the one that's going to talk about it. Uh, we are honored to be having Brother Nufikom minister in songs with us. So don't miss it. Don't just miss it for anything. Praise God. Whoa. All right. We've been talking about the instruction Jesus gave to his disciples just before he left. And then we're in verse 18. Look, Mark chapter 16, verse 18. It says, they shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Now look at the last one he said. They shall lay hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. You know, God made a promise to Abraham. And he said, through you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. You remember that, right? Now, the Holy Ghost has come today and the Bible says if you are Christ not us, if you belong to Christ you are Abraham's seed and you are an heir according to that promise now what makes us connect with Abraham is the spirit of God that is in us now then because of us every family that we belong to your family Every believer, wherever you come from, because of us, the blessing of God has come to that place. See, now that environment will experience the glory of God. Now, how is it going to experience the glory of God? Because you are there. Now, you understand why Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. See, so. It is your responsibility now never to allow darkness reign around you. Whatever institute darkness, it is your responsibility now not to let it continue. See, now, a good place to start is this. One of the ways to know that you have believed is when you come in contact with any sick person. The first thing that comes up from your heart is how, how to get this person healed. And how are you going to get the person healed? When you lay hands on the person, the person recovers. See, that's what Jesus said. It's a sign that the Holy Spirit is inside of you. You lay hands on the sick, and the sick have no other option but to recover. See, that is how we bring healing to the world. Not just sick people, physically sick people in their bodies. Sick marriages. Six situations. Every situation that is not right, you are the soul of the earth. And you've been sent to bring forth healing. And that's how we bring healing to every... Listen, it is believers in Jesus Christ that will bring healing to the economy of the nations of the world. It is believers in Jesus... Remember, you remember Joseph in Egypt. He was a salt in the land. And because of him, the world was preserved in a season of famine. Why? Because the Holy Ghost was walking inside of him, bringing him wisdom. Now, that's the same thing he is doing inside of you. If you will approach every sick situation with the faith that is inside of you, from the Holy Spirit staring up 
that, that healing power inside of you. Wisdom will come forth for the healing of that situation. See, the power of God will be released through you to bring forth healing in that place. Even right now, I pray for you. If there's anyone watching me right now, there's any sickness in your body, all you need to do as a point of contact is to touch, if it's your phone, if it's your laptop, if it's your computer that you're watching from, just place your hands on it right now. And I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let healing flow through your body. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to be free from that disease. I command you to be free from that sickness right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Listen, you know what you should plan to do this weekend? If you are in the city of Abuja, plan to join us tomorrow. By 5 p.m. tomorrow and Sunday at the Zeus Paradise Hotel around Mabushi. Just beside Setrako, you know, Mabushi area. Listen. It's going to be a glorious time. And I'm looking forward to seeing you specially. Hallelujah. We're going to have a wonderful time. Now, listen until next week. And for those of you in Abuja, until I see you tomorrow and on Sunday, God bless you. Bye-bye.